Hey, what's going on guys? If you're anything like me, you want to start mining Ethereum, but all the other videos were super long or super confusing. So I'm going to make this short and simple as possible. I'm going to break it into three steps. Getting a wallet, getting a miner, and using a website to get yourself into a pool. And so you can start mining Ethereum on your own. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get ourselves a wallet for our cryptocurrency. And the wallet we're going to be using is called Exodus. So what you're going to go ahead and do is find the operating system you're on and download the wallet for that operating system. I already have it, as you can see, so I'm not going to save that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our miner. This is important that you download the correct one. One of them is for Linux, which is this one right here, and the other one is for Windows. So you can go ahead and download that. I already have it once again, so I won't be downloading it. And... Yeah, after that, we're going to go over to our desktop and the, we're going to do the two things. We're going to extract our miner from the zip file, which I've already done, and it's right here. And then we're going to install Exodus, which I figure you guys can double click on an exe and do that. And after you have Exodus installed, you're going to go ahead and open it up, and this is your new vir virtual wallet. It might take a second to open up, by the way, so don't be scared. And here you can see all the different types of money it has. You can see a view of all the money you have in this one. This is a fresh wallet because I didn't really want to show mine. I know there's no risk to it, but, you know, whatever. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to find our code to receive Ethereum. And what we need this for is so we can plug it into the bot so that when we join a pool, they'll know where to send our money. So you're going to copy that code by either highlighting it or just clicking that button like I did. And we're going to go ahead and open up our miner. And in here, there's a ton of files. But what we're looking for is the one that says start on it. And you're going to go ahead and click edit. No, not properties. Sorry about that. You're going to hit edit. And as you can see, mine probably looks different than yours. You probably only have that one line. I have this one here. I'm going to put this in the description. All you have to do is paste it on the, in there. It's also in the about section. So down here, you see a couple different things. This is ePool. And this is what the community will be joining so we can mine Ethereum and do it lucratively. And the next thing you see is eWallet. And where it says eWallet, you're going to take that code that we copied from our wallet to receive Ethereum and go ahead and paste it right there. And after eWallet, there's a period. And you can see I have the word Doopy, which is my bot's name, so you can identify him. Now we have that all set up. So we're, we have one more thing to do in that notepad. So now you're going to go to the third website, and on this website, we'll be able to find a mining pool that we can join. So you're going to scroll down until you see where it says, choose from following stratum servers. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pick the area that you're in. I feel like that's the best option to do. And you're going to copy one of these uh, codes right here, and we're going to go back to our notepad. And where it says ePool, we're going to go ahead and paste this in where the random letters are right now in it. And after you've pasted that in, we've set up our bot and we're ready to start mining. So you're going to save this document and you're going to close it. Now all we have to do is start up our miner. So we're going to double click on that same document we were working on and that says start and it's going to open up. And it'll look something like this. Mine's going to run a little bit slowly because I'm currently running OBS at the time. And I also have a YouTube window open and this is graphics card so now you should see it look something like this and you'll be mining you are now officially mining so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to check the progress of your mining so the way we check the status of our workers and miners is we copy our receive code go to that website paste it in the bar up here and press enter and now you'll be able to see the statistics for all your miners you can see how fast they're mining, how much you've mined, et cetera, et cetera. It'll show you that it's mine's red at the bottom because none of my workers are on currently. And here you can check what kind of payouts you'll expect. And right here you can change your payout amount. And you'll need an IP address to do this, which will be where the yellow thing is. So right now I have it set to 0.5 so I don't have to wait a long time to mine a full thing of Ethereum before I get paid. So now you're up and mining Ethereum. If this video helped, be sure to like and subscribe and maybe check out some of my other videos. You have a good one, guys. Peace out.